Hey guys and welcome back to another video and today to take a closer look at this hybrid tablet and laptop which has a really nice performance. And we are back. So as I was saying, in terms of performance, it is equipped with the Intel Quad-Core N4100, which we have seen here on the channel on some other devices. And it has a great performance, especially for productivity, which is the target of this machine. But the most interesting thing is that not only the CPU performs great, but the overall package as well. If we take a look at some numbers of the tests that I made in terms of Wi-Fi, it was able to reach the maximum of my ISP connection, which at this moment is 200 megabits per second of download. And if we take a look also at the disk speed and all the other numbers that I took, it is a really nice machine, especially for productivity. Although we can do some other things that we will see in just a few moments. Now, in terms of specifications, as you can see, and as I said before, it has the Intel N4100, 4 gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigs of a fast storage. Now, when we look at it in terms of the build quality, this is a set of two pieces, one of which is the tablet itself and then the other is the keyboard. Now what I can say is that my suggestion would be for anyone that will be using this tablet laptop as a productivity machine and in some way will be using the keyboard then I would say that this is a great option because it will not only work as a keyboard but it will also work as a protection for the tablet against scratches and so on and so forth so really nice but try to focusing on the tablet first uh, what I would like to show you right now is that this keyboard has a magnetic system right over here so if I pull the tablet it will just uh, make a little bit of force and then it will come out as we have seen on other similar systems and then if I want to reattach it will just uh, uh, push down and it will attach so it's secured it will not go anywhere from here but in terms of build quality the tablet is well built and one thing that I would like to share to that side guys is that it's actually quite heavy it's a big tablet and it's well built so it feels premium but it's heavy not only because it's well built but because it also has a large uh, battery capacity so it's great in terms of the uh, tablet itself i've got no complaints at all in terms of build quality in terms of the connectivity and ports i will also show you for a couple of seconds there so that you guys can check it out in terms of size this is a 11.6 inch ips panel with some really nice colors and contrast so right over here in terms of the tablet it's great and if you only need a tablet if you don't need the keyboard then i'll try to leave the links down below uh, you can get it even cheaper than the full package now when we look at the keyboard itself what i can say is that it's a well-built keyboard and cover at the same time which will protect the tablets as I said. Now looking at the functional side of things when we look at the keyboard it has a nice travel it's not the best keys that I've seen it's not the best trackpad that I've seen so we have seen this kinds of keyboards and I've had much worse experience with some more expensive units so this is that kind of keyboard that I've got no complaints at all it's not the most accurate but if you take a look at some images that I took it's pretty precise when we are selecting text the keyboard it's also not the same size of a full keyboard but it's almost there and the keys once we get used to it we will work just fine so my opinion as i said before is that this can be very useful not only if we want to use it as a keyboard but also to protect the um, tablet itself but of course if it's only for a protection matter then there are other cheaper choices on the market this is just if we are thinking about using the keyboard for productivity and talking about productivity guys this kind of machine is targeted 
productivity, office productivity to be more precise, and all the tests that I run in Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and so on and so forth. No issues at all. Everything worked really smooth as we did with other machines with this same CPU. This is actually the first tablet that I'm testing with the N4100, but we have used on mini computers right over here on the channel. So this is the same great experience, really nice performance right over here. So if you are looking for a machine like this, then great. One more thing that I would like to add is that on the USB type C connection that you've got right over here, we can do a few things that we will see in just a moment. But one of which is we are able to connect to USB outputs. In this particular case, I use the USB mini USB type C hub and what we can get is HDMI output so we can connect HDMI or VGA if you are looking for that over HDMI I was able to get 4k at 30 hertz on my 4k display so this is great to be used as a portable machine to take to the classroom not only for homeworks and things like that but also for a teacher for example that needs to connect to a projector then this is a great option now we will be able to do a little bit of Photoshop and Lightroom and so on and so forth but only light things for those of you that want some multimedia then i also tested out with cody but what goes for cody goes as well for plex and ambi my test revealed that we can over wi-fi achieve my movie library and stream at 1080 mkv files blu-ray h264 codec without any issues at all because the wi-fi on this machine is just great so if you are looking for a machine that can play movies this is a great solution as well gaming for those of you that will be asking hey robert what about gaming it is the same as many other machines without a dedicated gpu we will only be able to get so far and if you are looking for portable platform games then no issues at all almost any game that you will find on the windows store will be fine including asphalt 8 and similar games but if we need more powerful games then the only solution to go for is through game streaming and i was able to game stream at 1080 60 frames per second i did play around with a few games and the result was just great i was able to stream without any hiccups without any lags whatsoever so, and you can judge by the images that the result was really nice. Now, moving to the battery, what I can say is that in terms of productivity using Word, Excel, browsing the web, email, and so on and so forth, we will reach the full day experience with one of these. We are talking about 9, 10 hours without any issues at all. Once we push through the machine in terms of gaming, then battery, of course, like any other device, will lower, but you can expect roughly 9 to 10 hours on normal usage. One other thing that I really enjoyed in this tablet is that besides being able to use the USB Type-C to display image, we can also use the USB Type-C to charge it. Besides being able to use the original power adapter, we can use any power bank, for example, to charge this tablet or any other power adapter with the USB Type-C cable. Now, I have used two so far, one from my Xiaomi Notebook Pro and other from my wife's MacBook, and both charge really well. The only thing that I'm not a fan exactly is the sound. I would love to have a louder sound and although I know that we can just use headphones and probably that's what most users will do I would love to have a more punchable sound nonetheless I've got no issues at all in recommending this device right over here tablet laptop hybrid whatever you want to call it because it is an interesting package with a great performance and someone looking for a device such as this that can be able to be used the productivity but also for multimedia and some gaming then this is an interesting option and that is it guys hopefully this video was helpful and if it was don't forget that usual thumbs up my name is Werther George and as always I'll see you guys on the next one